Hello, me hearties. A very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. It's just coming up to a quarter past 11 in the morning. I thought we'll pop up and see who's about dinky do. You know, you can stop scrolling because you've reached where you should be. Fantastic stuff. Welcome, 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 I say, to Scotty McClue live on TikTok. Just for you, dinky do. And uh, also, we've got so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So do come and join us. Follow as soon as you come on, of course. And remember, we don't allow trolls. So the trolls go down the swanee very, very quickly indeed. Nobody trolls Scotty McClue. Everybody on the internet that's switched on knows that. So that's not really a problem, is it? Hey, Scotty. Larry Gal, dinky-doo. How are you this morning? I hope you're feeling strong and well. How are you? She says, yes, excellent. I thought we'd just have a quick pop-up to see who's around, of course, and um, get the chat going for the mid-morning. Uh, good late morning, Scotty. A good late morning to you, Robert Scrimger. I trust the time suits you, otherwise you wouldn't be on. We love that. That's amazing. Hello, hello, Brog. Hello, Mr. McClue. Hello, Eddie. Hi, Scotty. How's it going? It's coming home, says Nathan. Well, we did a quick live last night and the football hadn't quite finished. So I got off my mark because I didn't want to take all the audience away from the football. You see, everybody wants to see Scotty McClue. And if you're watching your football, you're going to be torn between the two. And I didn't actually want that. So there we are. Do follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you very much, Nathar. Thank you. I'm actually back in the hospital. There we go. Strength, strength to you. They will look after you there and make sure that all good happens. It's so important. Take care of you. Hello, Scotty. Cyber Wolf. Yes, our uh, Larry Gal is back in the hoppy. So we're concerned, but we send her love and joy. Kareem, good morning. Kareem has sent me two beautiful TikToks. Kareem, you're so very, very generous. And another four on top. Six beautiful TikToks. And another load on top of that. Kareem, what are you doing? Are you a farmer? Broadback, I does uh, agrarian. Agrarian. Uh, follow us as soon as you go on, guys. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Everybody on TikTok should be following Scotty McClue. It's what we do. This is TikTok's top talk show. So you can stop scrolling. Fantastic. Uh, I'm on antibiotics IV. I've got you, Larry. Oh, good, good. Keep them going. Make you strong and well. That's what we like. Uh, keep up the battle. Scotty, do you remember me? Spring artist. Who could forget you? Wyoming is back in the chat. Watkin, how lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much. And a warm welcome to Wyoming on the chat. Scotty, could you play a quick tune on the squeeze box or on the piano? You'd have to tell me. Send us uh, all these lovely things, guys. Thank you so much to everybody who's been so generous with your gifts, TikTok, Red Roses, uh, the wonderful Maria Knight, my goodness, sending me King Diamonds, Diamond Kings. Good to see you, my guy. It's 4.15 a.m. here. In Wyoming, it's 4.15. Wow. Amazing. Why does Wyoming ring a bell with aircraft? Was there a Wyoming or was there a Wyoming engine in American aircraft? Tell me more. McClue needs to learn. This is that we learn together. My band released a song, Scotty. I hope you're doing well. Dulch. Dude. Dude. Dulch. I'm trying to read here with the background. Dude, that is great news. Fantastic. Love to Wyoming as well at 4.15 in the morning. I'm nearly 1K likes on TikTok. And my Scottish mother's with me now. Anthony. Hi to your lovely Scottish mother. Hi to you and many congratulations at being a thousand likes. We love it. A thousand likes to you, I say. Dinky do, says Stido. How's your day been, says Cyberwolf? Beautiful day, Cyberwolf. Got a lot of what done already? 
So never a dull moment in McClue Towers. Sheesh, says Brogback. Brogback, you never, ever, ever tell Scotty McClue to sheesh. That would normally be a lifetime ban. But because I like you, you can stay this time. Are you with me? You never tell Scotty McClue to sheesh. You don't troll him. You don't ask him if he works in supermarkets. You don't ask him his pronouns. We don't do any of that nonsense on here. We're all inclusive. This is for proper human beings. Yes, indeed. Oi, 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 Big John, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. The piano, please. You want a tune on the piano. Right, it takes a bit of what that, so we'll sort that. Uh, now, who we got here? Linda, I think you should go down the Swanee because I think you're totally on the wrong stream. So bye-bye to Linda Key. There you go. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? That one as well can go. Thank you very much. Lovely. Good. I'm just sending a few trolls down the Swanee, guys. Follow us as soon as you come on. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, who have we got here? Uh, a tune on the Joanna would be nice at this time in the morning. Well, we might look at that. Get your wee tune on the Joanna. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? I'm from the West Coast. There we are, near to Glasgow. What age did you start playing the piano? Oh, it was just a couple of weeks ago, so, you know, not not terribly young. No, no, I, I, I started quite young. I'm not as good as you might think. Hello from Ireland, did you do? I found you again. I'm so happy, says AFC Steve. AFC Steve, lovely to have you with us. Haven't seen you in ages, my boy, says Jotaro. Jotaro, are lovely to have you with us. And dinky do I say. Germany or England? Both. We love both. You and Texas. My goodness. I don't understand. <laughs> right, we're back. Um, hello, Scotty. There you are, my friend. Dinky do I say. Now, who have we got here? Oh, she's gone. She's off. The wee troll. How many times have you been in TV? Countless. I read the news every single day for about five years, you know, so. Whew. I am Mr. TV. So there we are. Linda's down the Swanee for being an idiot yet. There's Clear. Now, Clear, you're going down the Swanee. You never saw me in any supermarket the other day. You're telling a lie. And what you do, Clarky, you troll everybody's... Uh, account with this rubbish and hopefully they block you for life there we are fantastic hello hello rory uh, it should be working i should go back jack you can take a wee while to watch scotty McClue live everybody does bye bye trolls doing the swanny with the trolls well it's a well-known fact right across the whole of the internet that nobody ever ever trolls scotty McClue. We just don't do it, you know? So there we are. So if you're a troll, you have to go somewhere else. You see, the Queen visited the Iron Brew Factory, Scotty. I did, Robert. I thought she was amazing. And I saw Prince William tasting them as well. I haven't seen you streaming lately. Any reason? Because I miss these streams? Well, I don't know. What? Why did you not join us in the streams? Have you ever been to Carlisle, says Logan? I have, Logan, yes. I worked in Carlisle for many years on border television. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. I've been playing keyboard since the age of eight. Well, Scotland, you should be giving us a tune. Hello, Dinky Doo. Hello, Rory. I've been playing the piano since five. Larry Gull, fantastic. Hi from the Philippines. Uh, low views as usual. No dough no sugar puff. 600,000 have watched in the last six weeks. You might look up there and see 20, 21, 25. That's not low views. That's people just coming and going. That's how it works. Don't ever give that a thought. I am over the moon at the response we've had on TikTok. Okay, so there you are. So what we'll do with you, Sugar Puffs, we'll send you down the swan because I think you're a negative. And we don't want any negatives on here, do we? There we are, gone. Fantastic.
Do you speak Gaelic? Akamara ha u hakama. There we are. Falci, falci. Ki de mili falci. Don TikTok. Agis Scotchak McClurk. There we go. Fantastic. Morning, sir. Morning, Kila. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Have you been to Orkney, James? Sadly, that's a luxury I've denied myself. I would love to have gone to Orkney, and uh, I might still go. I want to see the boy marking the wreck of the Royal Oak. I want to go and see St. Magnus Cathedral. I'd like to go to Papa Westry, uh, all that sort of stuff. Should I try to become a Scottish citizen? It's a beautiful thing to be. There we are, but be a citizen of the world first. Attended the Green Eggies dinner with you. Funniest speaker I've come across by far. Rafa, that is so very, very kind of you. Thank you. You're very, very generous. Share the live video, everybody, as soon as you can. There we are. And... Uh, I was in an all-girls school and you had to play an instrument. I chose piano. If I may say, Larry Gal, a very, very wise choice. Well done. It wasn't by any chance a school in Aberdeen, was it? There we are. I saw you. No, Josh, you didn't. So, Josh, I'm going to ban for trolling. There he is. Gone. Okay, Josh. You haven't seen me in any supermarket. And there's another one as well. Gone. Gone. Uh, I'm just sending the trolls. There's another one. Uh, hello, Scotty, my dear friend, William Knox. How lovely to have you with us. And dinky do for me, Scotty McClue. Welcome to our live. It is outstanding. Outstandingly good. Send these doing the swanny. Welsh Logan, good morning. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you so much for all your kindness last week. And your support and your generosity. Doing the swanny with the trolls. That's what to do with them. Lovely, lovely. I was in Wales. I know where you are. Yes, you did tell me. It's all coming to light now. I, I've got it back. I've got my mojo back, Larry Gal. It's coming home, says Mr. Wilson. Coming home to England. What does down the swanee mean? It sounds like a pub. No, way down upon the Swanee River. It's a song called The Old Folks at Home. Yes, way down upon the Swanee River. It sort of goes... Um... Way down upon the Swanee River. So we send the trolls to the Swanee River. Yes, indeed, to see the old folks at home. You should get that printed on a T-shirt. Doon the Swanee. It was a very strict boarding school. Well, they all are, Larwick girl. Bad news, Scotty. Southport still making Victorian houses from 1890. You've been listening to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Yes, indeed. I'm planning to go to Norway soon. No way. And uh, depending on what COVID is like, you know. Absolutely, William. Good choice. Well done, sir. Uh, we love all this. Uh, my granny used to sing that, says Kirsty. Yes, indeed. Very, very important. So that's what we do with the trolls. We send them down the Swanee River. Look it up. S-W-A-N-N-E-E, -E, I think. Woo! Mm. Or it might be... S-W-A-N-E-E. -E. Almost 16K, didn't you do? Elizabeth, amazing. So there we are. Dank Caesar, welcome, 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 I say. And did you do to you? Um, I'm a Scotty, Scotland Disney fan. Waiting on my second vaccine, can't wait. Well done, la. Good for you. Uh, who else have we got here? Samya has just joined us. Welcome, Samya. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Love the sweater. Do you like that one, Elizabeth? We're in the dark green today. Guys, is the lighting all right? Because that's natural light I'm using in the room. There are no lights on me. Is it bright enough? Your voice is amazing. I'm from Glasgow, and I sound all over the place. Not at all, Olivia. Who has told you that? Uh, Scotty, what do you think about the recent independence polls? Support falling. Well, I think, Robert, 
the union is putting out, the Westminster is putting out very, very massive publicity, some of it quite subliminal, of course, to tell everybody that the battle's over and that Scotland won't be going independent. But I tried to tip the independence people off, said Scotland would do very well economically independently. Westminster don't want it because obviously it takes away a cash cow and they like to spend Scotland's money the way they want to do it. So your problem there, you've got a clash, you see. Westminster don't want an independent Scotland. The people of Scotland do. But they need to support Her Majesty the Queen as our head of state and our sovereign lady. And every time I post this on social media, we get the half-witted, right, telling you all the sort of things that's wrong with you and just posting mythical stuff about the crown because they don't understand how it works. So we need to very clearly, Scotland needs to make a clear statement, we will be keeping the Queen as our sovereign lady and head of state for Scotland for the rest of our existence. Yeah, and get all that signed up, and then Westminster can't say, but what about the Queen? And then you can't sort of use all the loyalists and royalists to say we wouldn't go independent, what about the Queen? So once the Queen's future is 100% secured as head of state for Scotland, then you can carry on with the political side. In other words, you can split the parliaments, but you never, ever, ever split the crown. You don't touch the crown. Okay, so there we are. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, morning, Scotty boy. They need us. We don't need them. That's true. Uh, Matt Hancock did a silly thing. This country's a laughing stock. Oh, I'm sure we'll get over it, Welsh. There are lots of them have done silly things. You know, they, they, when they get into power, they start behaving badly, you see, instead of behaving responsibly. Yes, absolutely. So that's that. That's supposed to be the government. Uh, morning, Scotty boy. Good morning. It's a unionist poll, rigged as it was in 2014. Do you think, Sir Stephen, do you think the poll was rigged? We would not technically be breaking up the crown by splitting the UK. There won't be a UK. Well, Robert, there won't be a UK because of Brexit. Don't be fooled about what a massive error of judgment and mistake pushing the Brexit thing was. Yeah? Woo! Because we didn't need our country back. It hadn't been anywhere. Uh, in fact, we've actually lost our country through Brexit. That's what it's about. Uh, so you're quite right, Robert. Very good point. Can you please play a song? It's me. Hello, world. No, I can't, Anthony, because of copyright, you see. Hello, hola, buenas amigo. Kio three, hola, buenas, buenas amigo. Uh, buongiorno. Uh, you can have a Queen of Scots. There's not a Union of Crowns anymore. No, Robert. There's still a Union of Crowns. The Queen is our head of state. She's not Queen of Scots. She's the Queen of Scotland. Because axiomatically, Scotland taking over the crown ensured that. Are you with me? So it's the Scottish monarch. She's the Scottish monarch. We would share the same monarch, England, Wales and Northern Ireland. No union of the crowns. Where are you getting that from, Robert? What do you think of Norway, Scotty? I don't know Norway. My father was one of the liberators in 1944. He was parachuted into Norway and loved it. Loved it, absolutely. My father was a fiddle player as well, and he loved the Norwegian Hardanger. There we are. In your opinion on keeping the Queen to bring the loyalists on board? Well, yes, because otherwise you'd lose 50% of your thing. And you see, the loyalists need to learn to march under the saltire because they are Scottish loyalists. And the Queen is Scottish. Sorry, Scotty, you're more versed in the crown than me. You've studied it longer. Only 50 years, Robert. But I would say the union of the crowns, that's never been repealed in any way. And the motto of the Scottish crown, as you know, is Nemo me impune la 
Nobody touches me with impunity, or in broad Scots, what door meadow we me? That's the Scottish crown. Yes, the actual crown itself is very old. Uh, I need to go. Your streams are awesome, Scotty. Dinky Doo, Scotland Dizzy fan. Have a gorgeous day. Thank you for joining us. And Dinky Doo, I uh, say, get the word out there, guys. Sorry about Brexit. I hope it doesn't cause disaster. Brexit will cause economic annihilation. That will be largely blamed, blamed on COVID. And it will also cause political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. That will be blamed on Brexit. Okay, so would the Queen wear the Scottish crown and what would happen to the Imperial State crown? No, Robert, you've got, she's got a choice of crowns because the crowns are united. So in Scotland, if she wanted, she could wear the Scottish crown. And you'll see the bearer of the Scottish crown, if I remember rightly, it's the Duke of Hamilton. And you will see them go into an official car and take the crown with them. Yes, indeed, fantastic. Football's coming home. So the Imperial State Crown would still be there. Yes, I think there are several crowns, because is there not St. Edward's Crown? And that's used for the coronation. Am I right? Yes, you can check all this out, guys. My motto is, oh, yes, indeed, speak the truth. Yes, indeed, Caitlin, well done. Football's coming home, says Desire. Tell us more, Desire. We're very interested. We want to know if it's coming home and what is happening. If you've just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag float eye, first lord of the internet. This is the big one. Would St. Edward's crown then be the English crown? Well, no, St. Edward's crown would also, we've got a share in that as well. You see, what you've got to remember, the crown is Scottish. In 1603, the Scottish monarch took over the English crown. He was invited to do so. Yes, it did. That's why you had the Stuarts in, uh, in, in the crown. Laughter is truth. We love it, Caitlin. Thank you. Laughter is truth. I've got a wonderful motto for you. Latin, teneo et teneor. I hold and I am held. What about that? Woo! Now, I'm going to have to dash soon, guys. I'll have to push off. It's like what the Jacobites wanted, separate states within the UK, but one monarch. Well, yes, of course, Robert, absolutely. And, um, you know, the English did not want Bonnie Prince Charlie, the son of King James, because it would change the lineage. But it's still Stuarts. They're all Stuarts, you see. The Queen herself has got a Stuart bloodline and also uh, a, a bloodline to Robert II. Her father was a descendant of Robert II. So sweet. I thank you, Caitlin. So there we go. Yes, they didn't want the Jacobites running the show. These people are loyal to Ulster, though. I'm just saying that. Uh, because <laughs> I'm a Tim Scotty. Stephen, do not give it a thought. We, you're so welcome on here, my dear fellow. We do not in any way on Scotty McClue discriminate in any way whatsoever in any shape or form. So there you go. So these people can be loyal to Ulster. That's fine. But it's still the crown and it's still the Bible, and it's still the British crown. The Irish crown is a separate thing as well, and I think might be in the mix at the Union of the Crowns. So fantastic. I personally love this. Be true to who you are. There we are. Uh, esse quam videre. There we are. Fantastic. Wonderful. I know you don't, even back in your radio days, not at all. How many hosts could host a show for two and a half years right across central Scotland and have zero discrimination? How about that? Would the Queen have a different role in an indie Scotland? No, 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 no. Would she still give royal assent? Robert, if she's, uh, you know, doing what she should be doing, and she always has done, 
I would say she shouldn't give royal assent to a new Scotland bill until her own future is 100% secured within Scotland. She should withhold royal assent. Once that's happened, independence could easily go ahead if the people want it. You see what I'm saying? She wouldn't have a different role. She'd be the head of state. And she would, you see, the Scottish Parliament, Her Majesty the Queen has graciously granted the people of Scotland parliamentary sovereignty. She holds ultimate sovereignty because she is the sovereign. She's also the head of state for Scotland. The members of the Scottish Parliament would swear allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. The First Minister swears allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen. Any MSP not doing that should immediately step down and hang their heads in shame. That's what I would say. Excuse me, not being with it. What exactly is royal assent? You're not not with it at all, Zave. Why would you know? Royal assent, E-S-S-E-N-T, when you're putting through, when you want a change in the law, it gets discussed in Parliament. Yes, or it should do. That is raised as a bill, a parliamentary bill. Yeah. Once it's all agreed, it goes to the House of Lords. The House of Lords used to be the Supreme Court in the United Kingdom, the House of Lords, right? It no longer is. I think we've got the Supreme Court. So it would go to the House of Lords. If they wanted any changes, it would come back to the Commons, back to the Lords. So it would all be discussed parliamentary-wise. Then, because it's Her Majesty's government and Her Majesty's opposition who have discussed it and the other parties, it would then go to Her Majesty the Queen to be given her assent, her signature and her approval. Then it becomes an act of Parliament. The bill is now an act. As an act of Parliament, it becomes enshrined in law. Yes, it could be taken back and appealed, but, you know, it would probably get short shrift by that stage. Good afternoon, Scotty. I wish you a fabulous, splendid Tuesday, my friend. You too, my dear, dear friend, Mr. Banks. Uh, like they want land reforms, give back the land to the royals, own to the people, she can keep Balmoral. No, well, she's not. You see, you can't actually own anything. You can have a legal right to it. You can have legal, quotation marks, ownership. But you can only curate it because you have a finite life. Yes, indeed. So, But Balmoral belongs to the reigning monarch. And that would be passed to the next reigning monarch, when the present reigning monarch is no longer regnant. Yes, so there you are. Um, Dinky you do, it's John here. Such sad news. John, what's happening? Hello again, buddy, says N here. Guys, I'm very anxious. I've got John from Lerwick. He says he's got sad news. Uh, where are you from, says Nonum. There we are. None of them. Uh, so there we are. Dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. We don't need reigning monarchs. We need sunny monarchs. Good one. We love it. Scotty's lives, the only live I look forward to and watch the most. I am the boss. That's so good of you. My mum remembers you from years ago, the television and radio, TV and radio. Tell your mum I'm asking for her and say dinky do from Scotty McClue. Say hi. No, Mr. Slippy. You're away doing the swanee for being a troll. Now, Mr. Slippy, you were told nobody ever, ever, ever trolls Scotty McClue. You should know that. We'll block you for life. There we are, gone. Right, he's away. Uh, oh, no. Oh, my goodness me. Right, I've just heard that our Lerwick gal has got leukemia. Guys, the infection was hiding it. 
John, I am so sorry to hear the news. She was talking to me earlier, and there's so much can be done now. So there we go. Only the most intelligent intellectuals tune into Scotty. The hashtag Floatides lives uppercase. I'm so sorry about our wee friend in Shetland. Scotty trolls the trolls. The trolls are no match for Scotty. I am the boss. They are doing the river. Bless you. There we are. Zave, thank you for praying for Larry Gall. Uh, come and join us, guys. In fact, I've just got to push off. I realize it's now a quarter to midday. Hello, Big Scotty. Hope you're having a great morning so far, Gav. Any time we go live on TikTok Live, it is a great experience, not just for me, but apparently for everyone else. And guys, I've got no lighting. Is this okay? Hello, Big Scotty. Scottish Colorists exhibition today. Piplo, Cadell, Hunter et al. Gemarella, we love it. There are thoughts on Mount Hancock. Not interested. I dismiss all that nonsense. You know, I'm just not interested in that sort of carry on at all. They're there as servants of the public, not to carry on with public money. I look into your eyes. I see an amazing history behind them. Zave, how very interesting. I wonder what you see. There we go. It's very strange because um, I once visited a big country house. It's happened a couple of times, actually. And I knew my way around. I knew exactly where I was going. Have I been here before? Will I be here again? Uh, so what a lovely thing to say, though. Thank you. Scotty, what's your favorite movie? Who uh, The most recent one, uh, we think, was the imitation game uh, about Alan Turing, the great mathematician, who was shockingly, horribly, and appallingly treated by this country. And uh, he saved the uh, country during the war. He knocked two years off the war and uh, virtually invented the computer, Alan Turing. And he was gay, and they chemically castrated him just for being gay. And uh, he took his own life, the age of 54, the wee soul. Um, but it's a brilliant one. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Alan Turing, and uh, Charles Dance is in it, another outstanding actor. There we are. Who are you fancying for the Euros? Well, I did fancy Scotland, but that's kind of... Out the game. Robert says Alan Turing is on the new £50 Bank of England note. Well, I don't know if I'll ever have a £50 note, but I shall look out for one. I'll save up for one. I saw it too, a great movie. Thank you very much, Mike. Imitation game was exquisite, says Caitlin. Was it not just beautiful? Please say hi to Paula. To Pula. Yes, I will. I will say hi to him. There we are, or to heart, of course. Fantastic. Max the King's just joined us, dinky doo. Guys, I'm going to have to go. It's been just gorgeous being with you today. Have a lovely, lovely morning. Take great care of your dear selves. Thank you for watching the live. Follow me. Watch every single one of my TikTok videos and like them and share them, please. And, of course, if you can get on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel, there's 1,500 videos awaiting your information, education, edification, enjoyment, and delight. Please don't go. I'll miss you. I am the boss. I'll miss you, too. See you later, Scotty. Thank you. Farewell, Scotty. Zav, farewell. And to our little Larry gal, we send you love. We are going to, uh, you can and you will. This is the moment. You are the one. We shall overcome. How lovely, lovely to have everybody on here this morning. Thank you for your support and for your love. And I, I return every single bit of it. Thank you again. From Scotty McClue, I'll sing you the goodbye song. I say dinky-doo. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir and a cheerio. Thank you, darlings. Dinky do and ta